friend of mine once told me to do a search online. Search for photos of Earth, he said. This shit will blow your mind. So I opened up the Google and I looked for photos of Earth. Well, a lot of photos came up, he said. Click on the first. He said, that's the famous blue marble that everybody's seen. We've seen this photo a thousand times upon our TV screen. But let me tell you something about that famous shot. It's not a photo at all, man. It was made in Photoshop, cause there ain't no photographs, you but somebody tell me why. They're all just Photoshop cartoons, they're all just CGI. No photographic proof of a cold, no, none at all. Why the hell can't no one take a photo of this ball? He was goddamn right. That shit did blow my mind. Cause I thought the blue marble was a photo all this time. Well, don't you think that's strange? He, he said suspiciously. Now, the fact that it ain't a photo seems pretty weird to me. I mean, the most important photo that man could ever take? This huge iconic image turns out to be a fake? Well, I couldn't quite believe it, man. I, I was pretty shocked. I needed further proof that this photo's photoshopped. He said, look up Robert Simmon. He made that cartoon ball. He's the guy you should research. He works for NASA and all. He openly admits that it's all just artistry. He said, and I quote, it's photoshopped, but it has to be. There ain't no photographs, but somebody tell me why. They're all just photoshopped cartoons. They're all just CGI. No photographic proof of a cold no Every photo of the Earth is artist trickery. All the photos on Google Man are as fake as fake can be. Download all the photos and put them side by side. Compare all the continents, they're each a different size. Compare all the colors, each globe a different shade. If all of these were photos, man, they should look the goddamn same. Where's the continuity? There's none, no, none at all. All that NASA gives us is a bunch of cartoon balls Cause there ain't no photographs, but somebody tell me why They're all just Photoshop cartoons, they're all just CGI No photographic proof of a cold, no none at all Why the hell can't no one take a photo of this ball? Now we're supposed to have this telescope, right, that's flying past the stars Taking beautiful photos of Jupiter and Mars well, I've got a small suggestion, NASA. Here's something you could do. Point that thing at planet Earth and take a shot or two because there should be goddamn thousands of photos of where we live. But Hubble ain't taken one. That's suspicious, don't you think? We got all these fancy pictures of spinning galaxies, but not one goddamn photo of the Earth for us to see. Cause there ain't no photographs, but somebody tell me why. They're all just Photoshop cartoons, they're all just CGI. No photographic proof of a cold, no, none at all. Why the hell can't no one take a photo of this ball? There ain't no photographs, but somebody tell me why. They're all just Photoshop cartoons, they're all just CGI. No photographic proof of a cold, no, none at all. Why the hell can't no one take a photo of this ball? Got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thank a lot. Okay, we've had a problem here. This is just a second, please. Oh, here's the we've had a problem. 
Well, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. That's the title of a video that I watched on YouTube. You can see astronauts hanging from wires, proving that astronauts are NASA are liars. They analyze photos and highlight mistakes with the moon landing missions. They show it was faked. You can see them faking the photos of Earth. They use a round window to fake the curve. Hmm. That's suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, listen up. I watched another documentary called Astronauts Gone Wild. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin gets a little riled. All he was asked to do was to swear to God that he went to the moon, but he would not. He was faced with a moon landing denier. Had a chance to show that he ain't no liar, but Buzz decided to punch that dude just for asking him to swear if he went to the moon. That's suspicious. So, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, cause I know that we didn't go to the moon. What if you swear in the Bible that you walked on the moon? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. And how about those moon rocks they gave to museums? And thousands and thousands of people did see them. But one museum took a closer look. They soon realized that something's afoot. The rock they were given turned out to be a fake. Just a piece of old wood, not a rock from space. Yeah, when God made the moon, he saw it was good. But apparently made it from petrified wood. Hmm. Yeah, that's suspicious. Listen up. In another museum sits an astronaut suit. Take a good look at the tread on the boot. It doesn't match up with the prints on the moon. And y'all still believe what they're telling you? Or how about that phone call that Nixon made to the moon that's a quarter million miles away? When I can't get a signal on my cell phone line, I guess phones were better in 69. Hmm. Well, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, because I know that we didn't go to the moon. And it certainly has to be the most disturbing telephone call. Never made the yeah, you went straight through those Van Allen belts. It wasn't a problem, right? Nothing was felt. But now you say it's a problem and you can't get through? This problem needs to be solved, according to you. But didn't you solve that problem back in 69 and you flew straight through them five more times? Uh, you wonder why I think it's fake when there are so many Apollo mistakes like the telemetry data that's all gone missing. 13,000 reels, are you kidding? A giant leap for all mankind, but you lost the data and no one can find. Hmm. Come on, man, are you kidding? Do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, because I know that you can't go. No, there's no blast crater from the lunar module. Probably because that thing is just a model. Or oh, the flag that flutters with no atmosphere. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit queer? Intersecting shadows means another light source. Do I think it's fake? <laughs> yeah, of course. The whole thing was filmed on a Hollywood set. Directed by Kubrick is my best bet. The moon's so cool, we'd love to explore it. But we can't get past low Earth orbit. Do your research, people. I think you'll find that NASA admits that a bunch of times. Listen. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully 
we take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to, and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Tell you something about the space station It's only really there in your imagination That thing ain't real It's science fiction It's there to feed your space addiction Those astronauts are not in space It's written all over their stupid face See, I can spot a lie from a hundred miles And I can spot a fraud from the way they smile Didn't you learn nothing from the fake moon missing that Puppet show from President Nixon Well listen up, they're doing it again it seems Check out the harnesses and green screens I used to work a lot in film and TV I know a bit about the television trickery To create the illusion that you're somewhere that you're not A green screen is what you're gonna use a lot or if you wear a harness and attach it to the ceiling The illusion that you're floating is what they'll be believing All you're watching is a puppet show Yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're actors, of course And yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space No, you're not, you're lying to the human race So let me tell you something about a zero-G plane This thing flies up and then down again Some weird stuff happens if you're on the inside You start to float as the plane takes a dive Simply add an actor that's trained to deceive And you got yourself an astronaut, or so you believe Plane flies up and that's everyone's cue Then action, we got some deceiving to do Plane flies down and then everyone knows To start the ISS live show Floating in a plane with zero G But you only see astronauts on your TV All you're watching is a puppet show Yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're actors, of course And yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space No, you're not, you're lying to the human race Well, another thing I noticed when I looked at these fools They're filming spacewalks in buoyancy pools NASA's gonna tell you that it's just for training To practice for space station maintaining Well, I thought about that, but if that's the case Then why the hell can I see bubbles in space? Take a hard look at the next spacewalk And tell me if you can see bubbles at all Open your eyes, man, I'll bet you a quarter Those spacewalks are filmed underwater I can see space bubbles everywhere Hey, NASA, how the hell did those get there? All you're watching is a puppet show Yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're actors, of course And yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space No, you're not, you're lying to the human race So when you see an astronaut aboard the ISS Take another look at your TV set They're pretty good at faking so you gotta look close Pay some attention to the way the actor floats If you ask me that ain't zero gravity But Hollywood effects that I see on my TV Take a good look at the whole damn thing These lying bastards are just puppets on a string 
It's all a big science fiction puppet show The game's up, assholes, cause we all know Thanks for the show, NASA, it's been a blast Now take your fake station and shove it up your ass All you're watching is a puppet show Yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space No, you're not, you're lying to the whole human race All you're watching is a puppet show, yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're just actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space no, you're not. You're lying to the whole human race, man. All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course. And yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma. I'm floating in space. No, you're not. You're lying to the whole human race. All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course. Welcome to the Satellite Hoax. Alright, let's do this. Set about 
communication comes from undersea cables and cell tower stations. A GPS is ground-based too, man. Go check out a system called LOLAN. It's a military system for navigation that, that uses ground towers to track your location. Are you seeing it yet? Welcome to the satellite folks. Just another one of them NASA jokes. You get a high be a picture of a satellite. But now bring it up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. When I search satellites in space. Yeah, I'm trying to freeze into Google Books. But let me welcome you to the satellite folks. You see, Tesla's figured out how to communicate without the need for satellites in space. It's mostly ground-based towers, you see, and that's how you get your satellite TV. They've monetized what Tesla made for free with their, with their fake satellite industry. It was Arthur C. Clarke that theorized these things, the sci-fi boxes with solar wings. Another Freemason, it's no surprise, they, they make science fiction and they monetize. They've stolen Tesla's technology and they get you to pay for your TV. Are you seeing it now, people? We'll go to the satellite folks, just another one of them satellite jokes. You can buy me a picture of the satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place, when I search satellites in space. Yeah, go type it in the Google right now, huh? And let me welcome you to the satellite folks. So next time you see a photo of the Earth from space, look for satellites. You won't find a trace. Ah, oh, they must have disappeared, I guess. Can't even see any from the ISS. <laughs> if you want to have yourself a little enjoyment, go watch a NASA satellite deployment. <laughs> oh, man. Let me welcome you to the satellite hoax. in school about gravity it was so cool i had a teacher that knew it all she taught me how water could stick to a ball how buildings stick to the underside of a ball that spins like a carousel ride man it all sounded crazy to me but i love learning about gravity i couldn't wait to tell my dad about the amazing day that I had He picked me up, I was bursting with pride He opened up the door and I jumped inside He smiled at me and said, how was your day? I said, Dad, I was blown away I learned about this magical thing But it's kinda got my head in the spin I learned about this Newton guy When an apple fell on his head He surmised that there must be a force that's pulling it down and everything's being sucked to the ground A force that sticks us all to this ball The people, the buildings, the oceans and all So it was written in history Newton had discovered gravity Well he just looked at me and said Don't believe in gravity Don't believe in fantasy But they teach it to the kids Well, my dad felt a little bit sad for me When I mentioned that word gravity He said, have a little independent thought 
A question what you've just been taught I mean, how the hell could a ball that spins Make a force so strong that sucks everything in Yet birds and insects fly unaffected Gravity must be so selective Think about it logically Cause that don't make no sense to me You gotta question all those preachers preach Question all those teachers teach You see, gravity is just a bunch of bull That Newton guy's just a lying fool These guys like Newton shouldn't be trusted Their free Masonic lies have been busted In fact, my boy, it's density And that's why things fall down, you see An object always falls to the ground If it's heavier than the air that surrounds If it's lighter than air, then it'll rise It'll keep on floating up to the skies That's what's known as buoyancy And that makes more sense than gravity So let me tell you one more time, boy Don't believe in gravity They teach it to the kids. He said, I'm sorry, son, for bursting your bubble, but that kind of thinking can get you in trouble. These theories they try to put in your head, it's all just pseudoscience, he said. They'll have you believing in all kinds of crap. That gravity nonsense belongs in the trash. Believe me when I say to you, there ain't no gravity, and that's the truth. Well, my daddy made me think that day. He made me think in a different way. I did some thinking for myself. I put that theory back on the shelf. That gravity crap is indoctrination, not truthful, trusted information. People need to wake up and see there ain't no such thing as gravity. You let me hear you sing it one more time now. Don't believe in gravity. But they teach it to the kids Don't believe in gravity Don't believe in fantasy Don't believe cause the theory's all it is It's never been proven But they teach it to the kids the other day who thought the earth was flat. I said, man, you must be crazy. Where the hell is your Tim Fall hat? But he spoke with such conviction, and he believed the words he spoke. And something deep inside me knew this couldn't be a joke. But why would he believe this? And why believe such things? Because everybody knows the earth's a ball and that it spins. Well, you must be pretty crazy if you think the earth is flat. Cause we all know that it's a globe And that's a simple fact So I said, what about the photographs That NASA takes from space He gave a knowing smile And told me, man, those things are fake But what about the videos That I've seen with my two eyes What about them, he replied Have you heard of CGI? Oh, NASA's faking everything That you have ever seen and as for flying to the moon, well, they ain't never been. Indeed, my friend, their line scum is there for you to see. Just take some time, look into it, and the truth will set you free. Well, I was kind of skeptical, but I have an open mind. And what he said was interesting, and I've got a little time. So I grabbed myself a doobie, and I started watching vids. 
Cause if NASA's really lying, then they're lying to my kids. And as I watched, I got angry as I learned of the deceit. The global earth deception was right there at my feet. Well, holy shit, this could be true. What if we're not on a globe? The more I learned, the more I yearned, the more I started to grow. I upturned every rock of information I could find. I started to unlock the truth, the war upon my mind. I had a thousand questions I just couldn't understand. I had to meet that man again, that flat earth man. Oh, NASA's faking everything that you have ever seen. And as for flying to the moon, well, they ain't never been. Indeed, my friend, their lying scum is there for you to see. Just take some time, look into it, and the truth will set you free. Well, I caught him up that evening, and he agreed to me. He was very welcoming, and he showed me to my seat. He said, I see you've done some research, my open-minded friend. I know you'll have some questions, which we'll get to in the end. First, take a look at what's on these walls, paintings of a globe. I painted every single one of these, don't you know? You see, back in the day before computers, I was in demand. An artist painting everything I saw upon the land. Landscapes were my favorite, I was awfully good at those. Many people told me that they looked just like photos. And then one day I got a call from a real important dude. He asked me if I'd like a job and said the money's good. Well, what's the job? I asked him. Then I'll wait for his reply. You'll be painting clothes for NASA. Then he promptly said goodbye. Well, I was sworn to secrecy. I could not tell a soul that I just got myself a job with NASA painting globes. My work was published globally in every magazine to fool the people of where we live, a truly evil scheme. See, we don't live on a globe, he said. The Earth is truly flat. I've been on the inside, and I know that that's a fact. Oh, NASA's faking everything that you have ever seen. And as for flying to the moon, well, they ain't never been. Indeed, my friend, their lying scum is there for you to see. Just take some time, look into it, and the truth will set you free. Well, we talked until the sun came up, and my mind was truly blown. This man had challenged everything that I thought I thought I'd known. And finally, it was clear to me to why these bastards lie. And finally, it was clear to me about the reasons why. It's all about control, you know, to get inside your head. It's all about the money, too. They got an awful lot of bread. Fifty million dollars, man. What could you do with that? That's what NASA gets a day to hide the Earth is flat. You see, if they can get you to believe that you're on a spinning ball, well, things like God and creation just make no sense at all. It all exploded from nothing right with their theory of Big Bang. It's true satanic mind control from the Freemasonic gang. You see, it's only Freemasons that get to go to space. They're the evil bastards who are lying to your face. Yeah, NASA's pretty evil, man. The whole thing is such a fraud. The only reason they exist is to hide a loving God. Oh, NASA's faking everything that you have ever seen. The NASA flying to the moon where they ain't never been. Indeed, my friend, their lying scum is there for you to see. Just take some time, to get to it, and the truth will set you free. Yeah, NASA's pretty evil, man. They're a lying scumbag. Take some time, man. Look into it. I did. Now my mind is truly blown. <laughs> the truth will set you free.